Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm back on 1.13, now on pre-release 6. Mojang have finally announced a tentative release date for 1.13. More or less, not really a date, but it's a period of time, and they've said by the end of July. So that gives us three weeks. And that is, of course, considering all of the potential issues that might arise. This pre-release is the biggest step in the right direction for them. Obviously, take into account the massive overhaul that this update has given the game. There are a lot of issues, and this update does fix a lot of them. Uh, one of them is, of course, dolphins. They have finally reworked dolphins. They are still very glitchy, and I'll talk about them in a moment. Uh, secondly, they have fixed the swing model. So this is, of course, going back to that video that I made uh, two days ago, which is, of course, wrong now, but you know that um, one of the issues was this one. So if I actually jump back into the water and start swimming, if I let go, I will revert back to this state, which is... Amazing. Uh, this is one of the biggest, um, frust most frustrating uh, problems with using creative mode in water, and now you can actually switch back. So now I can fly back down, and if I wanted to swim, I can fly back up without any troubles. That's a good one. Uh, now, secondly, I want to talk about the command system. Now, uh, this I thought was actually fixed. Unfortunately, it's not entirely fixed. If I go up, again, going back to the video two days ago, if I scroll up, you can see that I can scroll through until I hit a snag. This one, scroll play set. Um, one of the issues that I pointed out was scrolling up from the clear at P. Uh, whenever there is a selector, you cannot uh, go back up. Uh, now you can, for the most part, but once you hit this one, um, again with a selector at the end, you can't. This still needs to be fixed. I'm well aware of this option here with the chat settings, command su uh, suggestions off. Uh, although this is actually just a loophole, this is not actually a fix. You should never have to rely on that to uh, circumvent the problem. So this is definitely something that still needs to be fixed. And of course, with the command blocks, uh, pressing escape twice, that still needs to be fixed as well. But of course, uh, the hero of this update is dolphins. I do want to talk about them. There are a lot of other, whoops, there are a lot of other changes which you might want to read through. I will put the uh, link in the description so you guys can read all of the bug fixes. There are just so many, the sizable amount is, it just blows my mind how much effort they're putting into this. So big props to them. It's taken them so long to finally make dolphins functional. It's it's kind of crazy because dolphins are probably the highlight of this update. Uh, they're not really the highlight, but they, you know, they make this update glamorous for people. So let me summon a dolphin here. Ordinarily, uh, well, previously they would never lead you anywhere, but now I can actually feed the dolphin some food. And if I give him some room here, he will lead me uh, to a chest. So it could be an ocean ruin, it could be a shipwreck, but let's see where he takes me. This is one of the issues which I kind of want to mention. I did not summon this myself, but this highlights two factors that I've been, you know, reiterating time and time again. Uh, one, whenever you load ocean chunks, kelp will break. And this has been a problem, uh, you know, for many, many, many updates. Uh, they will actually attract dolphins and this will take precedence over what they should be doing which is showing you a location uh, such as a shipwreck but if there are items around dolphins will get distracted and they will mislead you I'm gonna have to kill these items here and I'll have to feed him again 44 entities there are 44 items just floating around and with the size of oceans this is uh, a big issue in terms of memory so I'm gonna have to find this dolphin again they do take their sweet time just gotta say that. Uh, maybe they should be more direct, but they like to swim like this, and whenever they do, you know that they're actually showing you something important. So, looks like he is stopping for a break here, and hopefully there is something in here. So, let's go into spectator mode, and if there is a chest in here, or any sort of loot, here we go. So, there's an ocean ruin right here. So, they are not as... Oh, dude. <laughs> they are not as direct as the ones in Bedrock, maybe. Uh, I don't like saying that, but uh, then again, uh, that's the case. So they do find you some places, and they're not as direct as you might like. But finally, they are reworked, so I'm really happy about that. They definitely still need to be fixed, as you can see from the beginning of this video. Uh, they are still attracted to items, and that will still take precedence over their actual function, which is to find you places that you really want to find. And here we go. So it has led you directly to this ocean ruin, and they'll just hover above it. I don't think they really care about the depth, the Y value. They just look for the X and Z value, which is totally fine. Um, so that being said, uh, they are finally reworked, so big thank you to Mojang for this. Um, they are still in desperate need for some attention. 
but I'm glad that this is something that they are aware of, and uh, I'd be even happier if they spend the next couple weeks uh, reworking them and even fixing some other things like why kelp just drops when you uh, load up ocean ocean chunks and um, you know the memory issue which a lot of people are experiencing at the moment please do take a look at the patch notes for pre-release 6 they'll be in the description of this video otherwise thank you all for watching leave a like subscribe for more creative content and news updates take care